everybody, my name is Tracy, I'm with the Saskatoon Public Library, and I'm here alone in the story room, so I'm going to go ahead and take off my mask so you can see my face. Thank you for joining me today for Draw and Tell Storytime. Before we get into the story, I just want to take a moment to respectfully acknowledge the many First Nations and Métis Nation on whose land we reside today. This is their land that we live and play and work on, and I hope that you will take a moment to express your gratitude or give your thanks to the Indigenous caretakers of this land from wherever you're joining me today across Turtle Island. The story that I'm going to tell you today is called Monkey Face, and it's originally by Frank Ash, but I've adapted it or I've changed it a little bit because, well, there's lots of animals in this story and I wanted to use some different animals than what, what was in the story originally. And it's okay to do that sort of thing. You can tell your own versions of stories. You probably do that all the time. And like I said, it's fine. You just have to make sure that you tell people that's what you're doing and also give credit to the person who originally told the story. So. Enough talking, let's just do it. Here's Monkey Face by Frank Ash. One day at school, Monkey painted a picture of their mother. home, they stopped to show their beautiful picture to their friend, Owl. Ooh, nice picture, said Owl. But the eyes are much too small. Really? Hmm, let's see here. How's that? Ooh, much better, said Owl. When Monkey saw Rabbit basking in the sun, they held up their picture for them to see. Ooh, well that looks just like your mom, said Rabbit, except the ears are much too small. Really? Hmm. Let's see here. How's that? Big improvement, said Rabbit. The riverbank, Monkey found another friend. Who could it be? Crocodile! And showed them the picture. Oh, pretty, said Crocodile. But they don't have much of a mouth, do they? Oh, hmm. well, I guess not. Let's see here. And a little bit more. How's that? Beautiful, said Crocodile. Goodbye. As Monkey walked along, they ran into another friend. This friend was flying in the air and it was a toucan. Right? likeness, said Toucan, but the nose is almost invisible. Oh, I, I guess so. Yeah, let's see. Mm. And a little 
move it like this and like that. How's that? Unforgettable. Well, Monkey couldn't wait to show their friend. Who could it be? A lion. Their picture. Rawr! You're a natural artist. Except for one thing. You've forgotten the fluffy mane. Rawr! Oh. Mm, let's see. How's that? Oh, most becoming. When they were almost home, Monkey ran into one last friend. It was Camel. Well, hello. This picture is nearly perfect, I do say, but the neck needs to be a little bit longer. Oh, hmm. Let's see here. Let me fix that up. What about? And then. How's that? Mm, truly elevating. Monkey ran the rest of the way home. When they got there, lunch was waiting, and so was their mother. Look what I need for you at school today, said Monkey. It's a picture of you. I love it, said their mother. Really? Just the way it is? Just the way it is, said their mom. And the two of them took that picture and hung it on the refrigerator for everyone to see. The end. <laughs>